Hey friends, welcome back again, another video. So this one, um, I know a few of my friends and a few people say we really want to see all that you have when it comes to the Moon art books. I love art books. Um, I went through a lot of them and I tried to find like the, my favorite like bit of art in there, but that's really hard to do. <laughs> so I just kind of picked one. Some of them I didn't pick anything just because of the type of art book that it is. Um, so yeah, let's begin. So um, the first one I'll just show uh, my previous video is my convention haul from my local convention in St. Louis. This is something that I picked up. Um, flipping through it, I had a little spasm because I saw this Hello Kitty art. So there's two different Kitty Hello Kitty girls. It's like a, the white Hello Kitty, a blue Hello Kitty. Um, my Melody, and I'm not sure what that girl is, she's a drummer, so this is show her drum version. But this is what I found, super, super, super freaking cute. This is like a collective art book um, with a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, I don't really know what it's a collection of, there's a lot of music stuff in there, um, non-music stuff in there, just like that. So I really like this, this was a really great price, especially with how big this book is. I don't know. I don't know how many pages it is. There's a lot of pages! Um, not anime related. I randomly found this at like some children's used children's store. But it's um let's see, the film the art division, they come for Christmas by I guess Frank Thomas Mantis. Uh forwarded by Tim Burton with a complete lyrics from the film. This was super, super, super cool. I Love this. I bought a few robots. If you hear a child screaming, that's the people across the hall. A child is constantly screaming. And then they bought a puppy. And guess what? The puppy's constantly barking. Um, so yeah, this is super, super cool. Um, a lot of different arts, pieces, like um, the idea, the vision, so, um, all the lyrics. I like, I really like that one. That was really cool. Um, so yeah, there's tons of stuff, even like set stuff, and setting up the set and the film. Super, super cool. If you love network for Christmas as much as I do, um, this is definitely something I think is worth getting and worth having, uh, just because, especially with all the lyrics and stuff, and it's super cool. Um, the images usually um, around the lyrics are for what it's for. Um, like, you know, what's this, what's this kind of a song, the song, and it's like, you know, from that, what's going on in the film. Back to anime. Um, this is, I kind of realize our book, this is for the second game, or the first fan disc. I, ugh, and I saw this, this cover. There are all, those two are always on, there's another one that I really want to get, and they're both on the cover again. I don't know why. Oh, oh Kimpy. I love him. Um, so I don't want to put too much because it does sort of show like the CDs and stuff like that in the fan disc. So if you haven't played it, I don't want to spoil anything. Um, but I did find my favorite piece that they have made for this. Oh my god. It's so nice. I love it. I love Kimpy. He's such a speaker. And ooh, that would be a great cosplay. So cosplaying and be like this. Everyone's favorite book if you're from the cute crew. Um, Fairy Tale Illustrations, Tokyo Boys! This is like a complete blind buy. I, it was kind of expensive. It is a hardback, so like, there's not a lot. Um, this is from a Tome game called Tokyo Boys. Um, I think when we read the description, it's like this girl has to like find this, I don't know, find a companion, and I don't, I don't know. It was kind of a strange, it was almost like a game show almost of what's, I don't know. It was a really strange um, description of the game. Um, so the art in here is very unique in my opinion, especially for Otome games. Um, I just picked one that showed all the boys. Um, the 
very interesting. Actually, I have a few of the CDs, character songs, and it's so good. The music for it is so good. I, oh, I wish it was, well, I never get it because it's reject, whatever. It's rejection. Um, another anime dear to my heart, if you can't tell, it's on the back, um, is um, Kamigami no Asobi. I believe this is the first game I think there's multiple leaves. I don't know. I found this on Mandarake. Um, I made like a huge order one day to Mandarake for a whole bunch of art books. I mean, it wasn't huge. I mean, it, well, I got like six or seven art books. That's a lot of art books. Um, I found one with my best boy, Hades. I love him. I think he's... I think... I, I wish he was more into the anime than what he is. Um, but he's not. So... And this has... Um, obviously would spoil the game. It has CGs in it um, from the game, so I don't want to flip through it um, in case you want to spoil it yourself. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Um, so what is this? Oh, it has... Okay. Some of them have like flip covers, slip covers. This is just like a neutral. It's just screen. Some of them will have a different piece of art there. That one just says that. And it does have the Obi. That's when they say with Obi, that's this piece right here. Obi around the book just pretty much gives a brief description of the book itself uh, the next one is F2 from this Otome game OG Amnesia I loved oh my god when I saw the preview of this like just the cover of it is so pretty I love the colors the pink and the green it's so nice this is from I think this is the second game, and this is the first fantasy, I think, where it's the uh, ladder, Amnesia Ladder. Um, I think that's what it is. And I'll show you my best book, because this is not what I wanted to show you for my favorite piece of art that's in this book. I love him. He's my favorite. Um, and this does have CGs in it, so I'm not going to flip through. Here it is. Doesn't have my best boy in it, but oh, it's such a good art piece. I love it. I love the art. It's so nice. Um, there's about 10 pages of art, and then it goes in about the characters, and then it shows the CGs from the game, and then it has voice cast in it. So it has like little mini interviews with all of them, I believe. I could be wrong. Oh, there was something where it was like show concept art for them how they you were each of the boy was going to look in the game maybe that's a different one I was thinking about but some of them were like very it was a strange kind of art with it some of them were like oh I wish you did that instead um, this one is from Amnesia World I believe is the third one but it's different because it's not a true fan disc I think it's like an alternate universe that you're playing in I don't know if the main character is aware that she's in an alternate universe or not. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I love the front. The front is very, very nice. It would have been great if there was like some glitter hollow kind of holographic bit to it, but it's a really nice art book. Um, this is the back. I love the back as well. So let's go to my favorite little piece. There's actually a lot of them that I like, but I don't I want to show you all of it because that's the point of getting an art book is looking at it, right? So this is my favorite one. Of course I picked the one where they have ears. Shocker. So yeah, that's my favorite one, I think, in this. Um, and then it goes into the story. It has the different characters. Um, so yeah, like I said, it, this is some sort of... Oh my god, I'm just gonna pick up this one right here. He's wearing Santa Claus! Okay. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Um, it must have not been this, but it had like the alternate, and then it has the voice cast in here, little interviews with them, more line drawings and stuff. Super, super cute. I love it. This one is, oh jeez, I just looked this up, because I always forget the name, forget the name of this Otome game. Nightshade? Nightshade. Nightshade! Um, this one is actually, I really do like this one. This one was like really cheap too. I think I only spent like, less, it was 300 yen, so it was like... Less than, less than three dollars it's insane um because like i said it has the different visuals from inside the game different character profiles like that where it shows them the different different outfits so they have different outfits and different angles 
side characters, if there's any enemies or whatever, and then it has all the CGs, which I'll skip through. Especially since this is something that you can get in English, it's, you can get it on Steam, or if you import the new Switch version from Japan, it does have English on it. So you could get the English version that way if you want to play it on your Switch. Um, yeah, all of it at the very end is CGs from the game. I haven't played it, but I'm not too heartbroken from seeing them. I'll probably still play it eventually. This is my favorite little piece that they have in the book. I'm really hoping all these are like on center and you can kind of see what's happening. Um, that one's pretty cute too, but I really like this one. I think this one's pretty cute and adorable. I mean, character looks like a really sweet character. I, 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 I feel like I would like her. Um, I need to get more. There's so many of them though. It's kind of insane of how many Udo no Prinsama art books there are. Um, a lot of them will be kind of like this, where it's just like clips from like the anime and like little characterization, uh, different, you know, of course, I saw an eye. Um, so yeah, it shows like their different outfits and stuff like that, different angles, expressions of their faces from the anime. Um, I, because I'm a little confused because there's some parts that I don't remember. Maybe it's because it's just been like a hot minute since I've seen it. Um, other best boy. Um, but there's not like actual art like the other ones. It's mainly just character stuff. Um, I don't know how much I paid. I don't remember where I got it. This does have an OB. It was folded in, so it's kind of flattened on the side, but I like it when it has their OBs. I try to protect the OBs because those are super easy to get messed up. So, starts from the front, court head neck on the back. This is love 2000%, but it does have heavens in the back. So I don't know if it's like a preview of when heavens comes in. I don't know. And it has like some stuff about like, different background stuff so that one is really cool next is a massive book this is actually a Yume 100 game, uh, book I think I bought this book for like 100 games I was like <gasps> I was very ecstatic for it um there's a lot of different um I'll try to flip through it just real fast for you I, I can't there's too many different options in here I can't pick one um it has a lot of different stuff like different characters um, I think it's like different specials since this is like a gotcha game. It has like different versions like, oh, them in these outfits, them in these outfits, them in these outfits, and there's so many outfits. Like it just goes on and on and on. Oh look, there is some art. Oh look, the boy with ears. Shocker, I up on that one. I must have just, oh, okay, because it's like intermixed. Um, this doesn't really show anything for spoilers because it's a gotcha game. I mean, there's a lot of boys to choose from. I don't really know much about the game. I did like the anime. I thought the anime was super cute. Oh, look at that. Ah, stuffed animal. <laughs> um, I hope we get more of Yume 100. I really liked, oh, I really like them. I really like this anime. I hope we get a DVD release. Sentai, please. DVD release. Curl needs. Um, but yeah. I tell you, Amanda Rock is where to get your art books. I, so this next one was Rando Find on like Amazon or something. Um, if you don't know, this is Pixiv, 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 I don't know how to say it. Um, this is their yearbook or official book. Um, so this is a website. It's pretty much like the Asian version of Deviant Art, where it's mainly like Japan, Korea, um, Singapore, China, like all those Asian countries. It's pretty much that's who that's what that site is for. Um, I can't pick a favorite. There is a piece in here that I used to have actually as a wallpaper on my phone. Um, so there's just, there's tons of art in there. If you love just seeing different types of art and different people's art, this is definitely something that you want to get. Um, all of it is digital art. What's really cool about this book, so I'll show you, hopefully you can see, is at the top of each page, I believe each page is an artist. At the top of their page, it tells you who the artist is and if they have any sort of Twitter, Instagram, website, shop, it tells you. It tells you where you can find them online, which is really, really cool in my opinion. Um, so yeah, it gives their email address if they have an email address that you can contact them for art or whatever. 
Um, but yeah, it's got, I tell you guys, it's got a lot of art. Like, it is insane the amount of art. This is over 200 pages. 222 pages. And some of them have multiple art pieces on it. So there's a lot of art in here. It is insane. Like, I've only, like, flipped through, like, to page 47. And that's just, like, casually flipping through. So there's a ton of art. It does have a slip cover. It just... It's pretty much a muted version of the cover. Um, so yeah, this, ugh, I if I can find some more for a good price, I'll probably buy them because they're just so nice. All right, so next one, we got, um, this was a random pickup from two years ago, I believe, or a year ago, I can't remember. Um, there's not a lot in here, so I don't want to flip through too much just because of how thin and small this art book is. I'll just pick a page. Um, this says Faust's Artworks Collection Number Two, Four Seasons, Summer 2012. This is it on the back. It gives like a little website. It did come with like a few cards, um, three little flower cards. I think there was four or five of these. It says in the description in the in the on the book. It's blank on the back. Um, I'm assuming. Actually, I, I don't want to assume. They have numbers on them. Okay, we have two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I don't know where one is. Those are what all of them look like. Yeah, this one was very inexpensive too. This was a rando. I didn't know what this was. This is an Otomate Mania in volume four. So I just bought one. I went with it just to see what it was. Um, it has a collection of different stuff from different Otomates. It lists all of them on here. A lot of them are in Japanese or the English portion of it is so tiny I can't read. Um, it does have Wanda Fortune number two. Amnesia, I think the original Amnesia doesn't say anything on the subtext of it. Um, Armin Noir. I mean, there's a lot in here. Uh, Glass Heart Princess, but I just can't read it because it's um, but yeah, it just has like stuff about each of the game. Um, it's going into sections and I believe it's like interviews or like stuff about the game. Um, I don't, I don't really know what some of it is. It's just a cute little book. It has some stuff in it that's interesting and, and some art and sketches and random stuff of a guy wearing a tomato hat. Uh, next one, I got this from Kitakunia when I was in. Oh, I definitely really paid for that. Oopsies. Um, <laughs> when I was with Gigi and the crew for Anime Midwest. Um, it has this Obi, it's right here. I'm ready to get this out, so it's right there. I believe this is just the first season, so it has some clips from the anime, some sketches, some characterizations. Um, so it's pretty cool. And a few pages of art, few pages of art. Um, what's really cool about sometimes, like if you're really into cosplay and stuff and you want to cosplay a character, getting a book like this, um, especially when, let's see if I'm finding a new page um, of a character and you're like, oh, I want to see what they look at it all, from all angles. You know, you can see their outfit, all angles, especially if you're making it yourself. That really does help with a book kind of like this. Um, I love Bungo Stray Dogs. I don't know if I said it, it's Bungo Stray Dogs. Go sure dogs. So this, uh, oh, she's cute. Remember, it's been a while since I looked at these. Uh, this is Story Sky Art Book, uh, Official Guide Complete Edition Winter Stories, and it has my best boy Virgo on there. So this, actually, this book is very interesting because it has like two slip covers. So it has this one, and they all have different art. So there's this one with an OB. I don't, I don't know why they did that. Um, and then there's this is the book itself very nice book on it. Um, this is, has a lot of clip and stuff from the game itself. Um, I don't really know how the games are constructed. It looks like there's like the story of the boys on it, but then it also has like side stories from other boys from other games. I don't really know. It's, but it's got really nice art right in front of it. And then like I said, lots of stuff about the game. I don't want to flip through it in case either you if you're going to play the game, if you're learning Japanese or no Japanese. I don't want to spoil it. It's on back of the shelf. I don't know if it's the back is different on these covers. No, it's just 
purple and the Obi. So yeah, I was gonna show, oh, I have two more official ones. <laughs> two more and then I'm done. So I got, these are the photo books from Idolish 7. I got Yuki and Nagi. There's a few more that I want. And these, I think they're doing another re-release. This is, that's gonna be the third time they've released this. This is a really cool, it's called a photo book. So it comes in this really nice kind of folder. Um, and then you get a keychain, uh, acrylic keychain of the picture on the front. And it also comes with a poster of the picture on the front. I don't think I've ever unfolded this. So. So it's a pretty sizable poster that you get on the front cover art and then the book itself. Um, it will have a lot of stuff from different art cards in there. Not art cards, but like um, the different cards in there. I don't want to flip through it too much just because that's when you get in art, art books, right? You get to look at the pretty pictures. So yeah, I got Yuki and Nagi and it's the same thing for all of them. You get a keychain, you get the poster, you get the book, you get this folder. It's a really nice setup, I think. Um, these are just a little high for my original bookshelf that I had these on, but I got another one. Um, I have my box. Um, so instead of going this way, they can go this way now. So, yeah, I highly recommend getting these. They are very inexpensive. Um, so I think they're only like 15 bucks each, especially when you buy them new or pre-order them. So it's definitely worth the buy, in my opinion. So yeah, those are all my official art books. It's a lot. Um, I was going to show my signs too that I have, but I'll show that in another video because <laughs> this video is already going to be super long. So yeah, let me know what you think. Which one's your favorite one? Is there one that you have that you think that I should check out? Because I will check it out. Um, is there one that you've been eyeballing? I've been eyeballing a lot of them recently. There's a few. Actually, I just purchased one earlier today. I just I won the auction. It was really inexpensive. So um, yeah. Let me know. Have a great day.